Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm Baxter Bell. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio, uh, thanks to my good friend Jin Sun. And I wanted to invite you to join me today in exploring the dynamic reclining sequence or mini vinyasa version of Jatari Parivartanasana. This is a reclining twist, and this is the advanced version. So if you have not seen the beginner version yet, please take a look at that now. And then once you are familiar with that, then come and join me for this one. If you've seen that already and you're ready to try the more advanced version, excellent. So for this, I like to have a little blanket for padding for my spine that's optional. You don't have to use that, but I find it very comforting for my bony body. So we're going to come down and I'm going to take you right into this. In this variation, the legs are going to be up in the air a little bit and the feet are going to be off the floor. So to get ready, I'm going to lie back in constructive rest position, take my arms out to the sides and tip my knees in towards my chest. Now there are, is an easier version where the feet hang down towards the thighs. I'm going to invite you to try the more challenging version if you think you're up for it, but feel free to drop down like this if you need to and work in the uh, more uh, easy fashion for the legs and the lower back. So I'm bringing my shins up. I'm going to keep the ends of my knees together. This will require a little more attention to my hips. And because I'm moving dynamically, I'm not going to go all the way to the ground with my legs this time. I'm only going to go about halfway to three quarters of the way. So inhaling, I'm going to go over to my right, and exhaling, I'm going to come back to center. Inhaling, I'm going to go over to my left, and exhaling, I'm going to come back to center. Your shoulder blade might lift off a little bit as you inhale to the right, the left shoulder blade might lift up. Exhale, come back to center, it sets back down. Inhale, take it to your left, the right shoulder blade might lift up a little bit. Exhale, come back down. Let's do one final round. Inhale. And exhale. I'm only going to the halfway mark on this particular series. Inhale and exhale. <clears throat> and then for a moment, bring your feet down and stretch your legs out because the front of the hips do a lot of work with that particular sequence and roll the thighs in and out. <clears throat> so we'll do it one more time. This time going down to about the three quarter mark. Again, not going all the way to the ground. This is a great strengthener for the core of the body. It works on the front thighs. And so we're going to take advantage of that on this next round. So bring the knees up, bring the shins up, reaching out into the arms. As you inhale, take the legs about three quarters of the way to the right. Now my arm and shoulder on the left side definitely lift up a little bit. Exhale to center. Inhale, tipping over to the other side, keeping the ends of my knees even. Exhale to center. We're going to do two more rounds. Inhaling to the right, exhaling to center. Inhaling to the left about three quarters of the way. Exhale to center. Last round. Inhale. Notice if the feet start to flag toward the floor. Try to keep those shins up where they started. Inhale and exhale. Also, you may have noticed my body has kind of um, ratcheted itself down towards the direction of my feet. That happens when we're twisting like this, so don't be surprised. You might have to scoot back up if you decide to do an extra round. Stretch the legs out, roll the thighs in and out, and then bend the knees, roll to your side, and come up to finish and move on to whatever's next. So there you have it, our reclining Jatari Parivartanasana Mini Vinyasa with the legs up in the air. A more advanced and challenging version. If it's too much for you today, then go back and learn the easier version. And then once that's mastered, come back and try this again. Follow me on BaxterBell.com, on uh, Yoga for Healthy Aging, my blog site, and on YogaUOnline.com, uh, which is a wonderful channel that has some of my longer practices available to you if you subscribe. Until the next time, thanks for joining me. Namaste.